Businesses in the Channel Islands are braced for a change to VAT rules which will reduce their competitive advantage over rivals in the UK. At the moment, internet-based companies in Jersey and Guernsey can sell low-value items like CDs and DVDs VAT-free. But next month, the threshold is being lowered. And this week, Jersey's Treasury Minister said the island shouldn't be using kinks in the tax system. A comment which is concerning business leaders in Jersey who say up to a thousand jobs could be lost if the VAT break were removed completely. Jenny Kumar reports. For 17 years, Simon Derma's been running this specialist music shop in Plymouth. But competition from online firms based in the Channel Islands is one of the reasons he's now thinking about closing down. Basically, I'm giving it maybe another month or so, then I'll be seriously thinking about, if business doesn't, doesn't pick up substantially, I'll be seriously thinking about closing the business. This CD in Simon's shop costs £11, but if I look on the internet, I can find it for £9. And that's because the company that will fulfil the order, if I book it on the internet, is based in Jersey. The so-called fulfilment industry allows companies based on the Channel Islands to sell products that are under £18 VAT free. But from November, that threshold will drop to £15. We're going to tackle the exploitation of low-value consignment relief that has left our high street music stores fighting a losing battle with warehouses in the Channel Islands. <coughs> the measure was announced total, by Chancellor George Osborne in his March budget. Simon Derma, though, doesn't feel the move goes far enough. Three pounds, what difference would that make at the end of the day? Uh, it's a tax loophole that is just makes uh, high street unable to compete with these internet companies. It needs to be abolished, so we're all on a level playing field. The Treasury is looking at doing even more to tackle this tax break. An announcement could be made in the 2012 budget. In the islands, there's concern that up to a thousand jobs could be lost if the fulfilment industry were to collapse completely. If we do find ourselves in a position where we're going down below the 15 pounds, down to zero situation, please have a plan B. You know, please say to those people who are involved in the industry, what is the alternative, what other alternative jobs are you going to propose that people do here? You know, it's not a case of just writing off the industry. But this week, Jersey's Deputy Chief Minister made it clear he was committed to levelling the playing field. The Jersey-UK relationship is about uh, using businesses and creating business that benefit both our economies. And as the Chancellor said uh, in a recent question, uh, Jersey shouldn't be using kinks in the tax curve. We've got a great future, he said. Uh, and I agree with that. And so we need to be building business uh, which benefits Jersey, but also is not harmful to the UK. Some businesses in Jersey and Guernsey feel they're being unfairly targeted and that the real threat to UK firms comes from other players in the market. Um, people like HMV and other businesses on the high street have already been in major decline. It's not because of Channel Island companies, that's because of major uh, UK multiples such as the Tesco's and the Sainsbury's of this world. The tax break changes begin next month. Some traders are warning that if the relief is eventually abolished, it will be the customer who loses out. <laughs>